Hello everybody, my name is AR and welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. So now we're going into the mines. We're halfway through Act, I mean, Act 1, Scene 3. Uh, and we've just met Shannon, I think, Shannon Marquez, I'm not sure. But the cousin to Miss Weaver Marquez. The lady we saw at the house who told us where the Zero was, we had to set up a TV. Who I'm thinking might be a ghost. So let's keep going. Because why else wouldn't it be a ghost? I mean... Shannon uh, asked, oh look at the dog, oh poor puppers, Shannon asked, do you believe in ghosts? And well I chose that question, but that question was an option, there's stuff on my screen. Uh, boop, the PA system, let's do it, let's use the PA system. That runs into the mine's PA system, do you think it still works? Only one way to find out. All right, give it a whirl. Into the PA. Uh, is anybody down there? Uh, how big is this place? Yeah, is anybody down here? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, there's no power. Yeah, okay. Even when this old mine was up and running, it was tricky to keep stuff powered. You know, the miners used to have to pay to run the fans and the lights. Yeah, they got paid in these... I nearly said it. Oh, yeah, they got paid in the sugar, honey, iced tea, plastic tokens. If you don't know what sugar, honey, iced tea is, put it on the screen. Sugar, honey, iced tea. A plastic tokens, cold script, you know. And if you want to run the fans for a bit to clear the air up, well, you have to put a token in. My parents used to work here. So did Weaver's parents. I guess a lot of folks' parents worked here. Uh, no, we don't have any tokens to power it up. Were you not listening? So let's just head into the mine and see what we can see. No. I definitely feel better getting some readings first. We don't know what it's like down there anymore. Ah, stop moving on me. Uh, years of seasonal changes and seismic irregularities could have totally reconfigured it. I'm not going in blind, and neither are you. I bet we just have to free up some power for the PA system. Everything's rationed here. S Everything's rationed. Here, set up the lamp of yours, and I'll go and plug these ceiling lights. <coughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, this thing has something to say. Ooh. I heard the speakers back here crackle a bit. It's on now, right? Try saying something to the mouthpiece. Well, okay, I hear you. <laughs> we need to measure the echo delay time and figure out how deep these tunnels run. What the heck? Oh, what was that? It was like a fruit fly. Uh, we need to measure the echo delay time and figure out how deep these tunnels run. Just make some noises into the mouthpiece. Oh, da, 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 da. oh no, that hurts. That hurts. It, let's tap the mouthpiece. That is cool. That is cool. When you actually tap it, you can hear it in the background. Let's knock the table. Oh, wait, let's hump. No, let's knock the table. That is so cool. Let's whistle. That ain't no whistle. That's a ghost pulling on some chains or something. Damn, that's a long delay. These tunnels run deep. I bet some of these. I bet some of them have ruptured or joined up with a cave system. Oh, we're going back to caves. Because when we met that other guy. Joseph, I think his name was, at the gas station. He had an email on his computer that spoke about caves. Okay. I set up my spectrum anal... 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 I set up my spectrum analyzer, so just say something to the mouthpiece. We can get a sense of how narrow the mind tones are. Don't be shy. Just say anything that comes in your head. Tell me a story or something, or what did you have for breakfast today? Here's a story. I used to work doing roof repair. No, no one cares about breakfast with who. Let's... We even fixed up church roof once. It seemed... <laughs> Let's use my PA system. It should have taken us an hour to get there. <laughs> uh, 
But I was too hungover and we ran late. No, let's go to the thunderstorm. Why did my light just go off temporarily there? And it's cool how when you speak into the PA system and it like echoes everywhere, the screen actually shakes a bit. That's cool. Janet. Uh, okay, got it. Looks like the tunnels are pretty cramped. Yeah, low ceilings. Hope you're ready to stoop a bit. Eh, you're probably used to it. One more test. We just need to know if the air is breathable or if it's too thin or too dense. Just sit real close to the mouthpiece and breathe. What? Okay. I'll measure the resonance of your breath with the air in the tunnels. Just try to relax. Try to breathe naturally. I'm not sure if that works. I've never tested air density, so I don't know if that will work, but okay. Call my breeze and thinks about the road. Um... Thing about the road would probably be heavily resting. No, actually resting would be heavily. Because you'd like sigh and take all of the weight off. Let's go about the road, shall we? Okay. Let's remember a moment in when we were younger. Getting some pretty strong readings here. I think we're in shape, but keep at it for a minute. A cold drink. Damn, I should have thought about that hot meal. Ah! I think that, I know that was supposed to happen, don't worry. And we're into scene four. Alcorn Mine. This is the last scene. I don't know if more of this game is coming out. Or if it is out. I need to look. Jesus, are you alright? What the hell? My leg is stuck. I'm okay. My leg is stuck. Let's be really annoying. My leg is stuck. Sugar honey iced tea. Okay. I'm going to pull you out. We have to get out of We have to get you out of here. There you go. Okay. Are you hurt? Can you put any weight in the leg? It's all messed up. I'm fine. Man up. Just try to stand up. Careful. I'm right here. Oh, thanks. Damn, don't worry. I've got you. That leg is in bad shape. What? I I've seen worse. What are you talking about? Let's get you on the tram. There you go. Now let's see if this thing has power. Crap. Well, okay. There's some luck, right? We should be able to ride this tram right out of here. Right out one of the auxiliary exits. If there are any, I think. Yeah, what about Weaver? We'll just find the exit and figure out what to do from there. That's our first priority. Answer what I'm asking! So the controls are over on your side. Let's get moving. Of course it is. Let's just... Wait, did I switch off the lights? Um... That's very loud! A lot of things can hear us! That is loud! That is really loud! Okay, all of you guys at home, look behind, see if you see any figures running or anything. Like people. Because ghosts exist. I'm serious. Ghosts exist. Oh, okay. I thought I saw a movement there. The turntable. Oh my gosh. Why is there a coffin? Okay, do I have to use a turntable? <laughs> I'm just going back and forth the entire time. Oh, here we are. This may be hard to believe, but it's hard for me to believe myself. But this whole branch was underwater last I heard. Is it safe? Yeah. I guess so. Looks like they finally drained it. Or maybe it drained off on its own. The water came in pretty fast, and a lot of folks got trapped in the tunnels. I only heard parts of how it went from there sanitized, from there 
sanitized to the bereaved. For, for the bereaved. What is wrong with me today? What is wrong with me today? <sighs> Taste the identity. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you know how these big companies are. But they were gossip too. The cap miners couldn't get the pumps going because the power was rationed. So they shut all the lights off. E but even then it wasn't enough. So they just drowned? So I guess it was dark when they... Okay. You lost some people down here, didn't you? We all lost people down here. Well, not all of us. But most of us. It doesn't matter now. Look, this old turntable is still wired up. The controls are dead, but I can use my signal generator to switch tracks. If the water hasn't damaged it too much. Or we can just keep heading down this tunnel. All this junk hanging up around the turntable from the company store. Just junk, you know? The miners would buy it and use it to decorate the place. Or as landmarks, I guess. Hard to know which way is which down here. It's all so dim and grey. Uh, okay. We're on track between the animal bones and the rowboat. So... Um... What should I choose, guys? What should I choose? You know what? I'm not going to make any proper decisions. I am going to save this game right here. And I'm going to let you guys choose. So you guys, tell me. The pendulum and the casket. The bat feeder and the scarecrow. Which one? Let me know down in the comments below. And I'll choose that. Uh, whichever. I'll have a poll probably in the info card. I don't know. Um... But you guys are going to tell me what I should choose right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Click that info card to use the poll to tell me which one I should do. Because I really want to know. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope there's a jump scare somewhere in here. But, uh, we'll see in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Click the annotations to see more videos that I've done, and until next time, game on! I'm so tempted to choose one!